twice to push it to the other side. Then, add another block next to it to complete the bridge. Wow, I knew it! You're not just a regular guy. That's really cool, buddy. I think that'll help me beat the next area. Hey! Oh, I got a technique for you. Yeah, let's do it. Allow me to explain the spider. If there is a block in your way, try dangling off the edge and moving around it. It's a useful way to go around a block to find another place to stand. By moving around, you can skip having to move blocks. You mustn't let your guard down. I wonder if my girl's the witch. Oh, you mean the one from the rumors? She got all worked up all of a sudden for no reason the other day. She was just stabbing your dinner with her fork, man. I thought she was gonna reach over and gut me. Maybe you just like those kind of women. Men who want to control women tend to have a desire to be controlled by women. It's the truth. Climbing up these weird blocks, and the monster from yesterday? What was that? This is your dream. What appears depends on you, doesn't it? Oh, I can't let you carry your memories of your dream back into the real world. If you were to try anything in reality, it'd be troublesome for my game. <laughs> well, now you'll be answering my question. This is the third question. Which of these do you consider cheating? Which one? This one? That's your answer. Doesn't matter, really. Your abilities are exceptional. You best work hard. It's not like no one has ever survived. Really? Far above this place, on the eighth floor, there's a cathedral. It's said that those who reach that holy pinnacle will have the path of freedom opened unto them. And of course, from this nightmare as well. So if I climb to the very top, I'll be saved? I've said too much. I'll guide you to the next trial. Cathedral, huh? Okay, fine. Some dark blocks may be moved, while others cannot. Look at the various blocks in your way when determining your path. Damn it! Those traps again. Commencing area two. Are you ready?
Alright, I got it. Surprised me. It's you. those two over there are talking about how to climb. Yeah, why don't you join them? Hmm. They don't sound very enthusiastic. It's a pain. Living, dying, it's not cool. Hopefully there's no annoying guys like my boss. I hear there was a great sheep who escaped this place a hundred years ago. Does that mean I might be able to get out too? Not might, you will. Right, we'll get out. Those sheep there are talking about climbing techniques. I think I'll join them. Ah, shit! I want to climb, but these other sheep get in my way. They mess up the blocks that I pull out. I'm going to turn them all into sheep stew someday. It's you. <laughs> Good of you to come this far. <laughs> Everyone's gonna die. Everyone! <laughs> hey, hey, get a grip. You freak out. You're never gonna make it out of here. Everyone's gonna die. Everyone! <laughs> I've been feeling weird lately. Before I know it, I'm here, covered in blood. I get beat up pretty bad, too. I'm more bloody from scratches and bites. It's not like that. It's not my blood. Hey, hey. Please, get away from me. Run! I may even kill you. I know that if I keep going up, that terrible thing's gonna appear. No! I don't want to 
go any higher. What do you mean? It's chasing me from below. It's gonna kill me. Calm down. That attitude's gonna get you killed. Well, aren't you cool-headed? You're cold, man. I've got to respect that. When I wake up, I forget everything that happens here. But before I know it, I'm back again. For the past few days, I've always been in this area. Damn. I get the feeling I'm gonna reach the last door soon. Hey. Have you heard the rumor about true freedom? They say that true freedom awaits you at the top. What is true freedom? Does that mean that even I can be free too? Free from the life I live? You're only gonna find out if you reach the top. Can you stand? Don't be nice to me. I may push you off one of these days. It's you. I get it now. Man, night after night. I'm so tired. It's like what they say. Third times... Third times... The charm? Who cares what cliché you're using? When you're a writer, you gotta have a way with words. <laughs> Two's company, but... Three strikes and you're out? <laughs> Did you actually say that? Do you know that I get the feeling something big's coming up? Want to trade techniques? Sure. Allow me to start with the technique I developed. Allow me to explain the swing out. When you pull a block, drop a hand, then move to the other side. Now you can push the block. It's useful in tight spaces. Remember this one. Not a bad trick, you think? I have more. Allow me to explain the toppler. If a stack of blocks is full of holes, pushing the lower blocks is an option. By causing blocks to fall, you may find a path upwards. That sounds useful. Oh, I just thought of something like that. Maybe this will help. Allow me to explain wall suspension. By using edges, you can connect with blocks forming walls. Blocks make edge connections on all sides, not just left and right. Suspend them from the walls and make new footing. I see. I didn't think of that. Buddy, you got moves. If I was a chick, I'd be all over you. I get it now. Spike traps. That was fun to watch. I suppose you're different from the other sheep who stop here and wait for morning, afraid, waiting for destiny to save them. I can put this off. It'll only make me suffer longer. This is the fourth question. Do you envy actors who are frequently used in sex scenes? <laughs> well, which one? So that's how you think. I'll take that as your honest answer. Hey, did all the other guys in here have the same person drop them in here? This is not the time to be worrying about the other sheep. Not if you want to survive. Listen, I can hear the voice of the one trying to take your life tonight. Again? This is the final area for tonight. Use the terrain to your advantage and avoid attacks.
Oh, no. 